this is into the fire. I'd like to welcome the journeyman, the man who had the best hair in rugby, Luke Willow Williamson. Mate, pleasure to be here, LJ. Yes, I used to have uh, some hair and I had many styles throughout the, my time. As you say, I could only use it for a period of time, but um, yeah, it was great to play in the game. And I had time here in Adelaide, time in Canberra, time in Manly in Sydney and time in uh, England, in, in London. So uh, it was great. Okay. First things first, Luke, I've seen a lot of photos of you and you seem to have done something different with your hair. Coaching is a stressful job, isn't it? Look, LJ, coaching is extremely stressful, uh, and I'll put it all down to that. Uh, I put my heart and soul into that coaching element, and look what's happened. <laughs> but again, no, on a serious note, I'm going for a new look now in 2019. Lo and behold, it seems to be in, so. Yeah, it is. Thanks, mate. You played at 6 foot and 15 stone. That's a bit more than three of me. Bet you hurt some people in your time. Well, yeah, that's actually quite embellishing to hear that, mate. That's quite big. I wasn't overly too big but I was sort of big enough in a way, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You were in the Adelaide Rams team when Adelaide had a team in the big league. Dad says they were very popular when they first entered the competition. I take it the win-loss record took care of that, hey? It did, actually, yeah. yeah. Oh, look, Adelaide was great, actually. I think um, when we first came, it was exciting, something new for the, for the area. Uh, and we were reasonably successful to start with, so I uh, really enjoyed my time here. Yeah, sounds good. What is impressive is that you made your debut as an 18 year old. What was it like for a kid to be going up against some of the biggest men in sport? It was, uh, it was quite nerve wracking, um, exciting at the same time because it's certainly a dream that I wanted to achieve and I was fortunate enough to do that here at Adelaide. But. Uh, um, it's many, many moons ago now, but it was a really good experience. It would be pretty nerve-wracking. Yeah. You did more than debut, didn't you? I know you guys get a lot of hits in the head, so just in case the memory is a little foggy, you kicked a late goal in your first game to seal the Rams' first ever away win. Yeah, I suppose. I didn't score a try, but I kicked a goal, which was pretty cool. Um, that's probably one thing that I remember from it. Um, but it was just exciting to be finally playing at that, at that stage, which was really cool. It would be pretty cool kicking that goal. So, 1997, you had 70 points from 12 games, and in 1998, 44 points from 17 games. Then the club folded. Certainly wasn't your performance that led to that, was it? No, <laughs> well, that's a good point you make. It wasn't me. Um, but uh, I was the goal kicker, so that was easy. Uh, that's why my points were probably quite high. But, uh, um, yeah, it's, it's unfortunate that club folded, to be honest. It would have been great if there was still a presence here in Adelaide. Yeah. It was now when Rugby League became the NRL and you went to the Canberra Raiders with the big Mal Maninga. I've looked him up. He was a brute of a man. He looks like that Hordor guy Dad always talked about in the Game of Thrones. What was he like? Bet he ate all the pies. Well, I, I think he did. He, did. he was enormous. He, he said before that I was 6 foot 15 stone. He would have been close to seven foot and about 18 stone. He was a massive man. And uh, when I went to Canberra, I was playing a position that he used to play in the centres. So that was quite daunting as well. But uh, he was a great coach and he's, he's been great for rugby league. Yeah, he has. Is it true on Mal Meninga that the only way you could tell if he was walking, jogging or sprinting was by the expression on his face? <laughs> he used to have one brow, they say, right across the front. So. But he was a massive man, he's a daunting figure in the game, but yeah, a good bloke. Yeah. How good was your 1999 season 20 games? 174 points, 6 tries and 74 goals. But in 2001, you only played in two games due to injuries. Can you remember what they were? Yeah, I actually tore my posterior um, cruciate ligament side of my knee, which put me out for about 12 weeks. So I missed a few games there and I was up and down with selection. So it wasn't my best year, um, but thankfully I was still signed there and I was able to play again later on. But uh, 99 was a good start with Canberra, um, but it was a great club to play for. Yeah, that would have hurt. It tickled. <laughs> you then left Canberra and joined the Northern Eagles and guess what, they, f they folded. Are the rumours true that it was your massive salary that was sinking these clubs? 
Look, <laughs> should we say this or what? It's going to be on air. Look, it, yeah, it was just by, probably by coincidence, I suppose. But uh, look, the Northern Eagles were there for about two years. I was lucky to play with them for one year. And then they went back to being Manly Sea Eagles. So uh, I would not say it was my massive inflated salary. That is yeah. a lie. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> From there, you took your bulging wallet to Manly, Manly, the more financial stable Manly, as it said on the internet. You then spent most of your career there. It must hold good memories for you. It does. It does. It was a great club, actually, Manly. So, I had some success there playing, and it was an, a good, a good team, good camaraderie, good organisation. And it was just great to be a part of that from starting from the bottom all the way up. So, good times. Yeah. Now, one of those fond memories you must have been a video you made. Does a lip syncing of simply the best in a gym ring any bells? You had 200 views on YouTube. That's 200 people who will never get that 4 <laughs> minutes and 27 back. What were you thinking? Well, it was just a bit of fun. The boys, a couple of the boys and us decided we'd mimic... Tina Turner singing Simply the Best and yours truly was was the one so um, I love doing things like that so but you're right unfortunately those 200 people will never get that four minutes and 27 seconds back in their yeah. life so I do apologise. By the way unfortunately you have 201 yeah. views now. We'll take that thank you LJ. <laughs> That's okay. That you played in the 2007 NRL Grand Final you lost it 34 to <laughs> Eight, but the Melbourne Storm later was stripped of this title for salary cap breaches. How do you feel about that now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, look. Ultimately, they were the better team. So regardless of yeah. payments and things like that, they were still the better team. Yeah. So they beat us on the day, which was, which was a shame. But that's the way it goes. Yeah, that is the way it goes. You missed the 2008 Grand Final due to injury. A Grand Final you ended up winning. 42-0-1. Bet that was bittersweet. Yeah. Well, I can't complain. But um, it was hard to miss that game because I played a few games in the lead-up to that that got hurt injured. So, um, yeah, that was great. The, the team had done really well. And it was ironic because they beat us like the previous year and we smashed them 40 nil. So, we'll take that. Yeah. You, <laughs> that's a good win. You finished playing 42 games for the Harlequins before retiring. And I'm not trying to make this about you because it's probably just coincidence, but they folded too. <laughs> That's three clubs that have folded, isn't it? Yeah. Don't play for. So, <laughs> you want to be careful this YouTube channel doesn't fold either, big fella. So, <laughs> actually, they were the London Harlequins and they amalgamated with the Broncos. So, <laughs> trying to explain that it wasn't just me. It wasn't just me, please. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. A total of 260, 260 games is a huge effort, Luke, and it's been my privilege to have talked to you today. You are not just a great player, but a great guy to talk to. However, no one leaves my show without the Into the Fire celebration. Ready? It goes like this. Now you try. Together now. Okay, good job. Well, I'd like to thank Luke Williamson, an NRL great, for going into the fire with me. You're thank welcome, you. AJ. Pleasure, son. Into the fire. Yeah.